RJ here again and we're going to be continuing uh, with chapter 16. We had just left off where uh, Don had made it to the place of homes and then all of a sudden there was a big commotion as the sore eyes sh showed up and so he was pulled into one of the holes by a couple of gnomen, uh, Nursite and his friend Netherbro and so we pick it up now as they're cowering down in this hole uh, where Nursite lives in his living quarters. Chapter 16 How in the demons of the desert did they know to come here when the place of homes is supposed to be deserted? Another bro asked Nursite as they struggled to get Don's big body into the gnomon's living chamber. Oh, Nursite could do is shake his head and mutter, Why ask me? They're the ones who cleared us all out of here. Why would they bother putting someone on watch unless they feared one of us had been away from the place when everyone else was carted off? But they would have seen us approach at noon and moved in on us. It's almost sunset. Why now? Maybe we slipped in under their noses, Nursite grunted as he placed a feather pillow under Don's boulder sized head. But when our nosy friend arrived, they couldn't help but know someone was here. Quit asking me for an explanation. Go up and ask the sore eyes yourself. As if he were following that advice, another bro climbed back up through the entryway. Nurseite almost expected him to pop his head out and yell, Well, why are you goat turds here anyway? Fortunately, though, he was young. He was not that stupid. Did you hear anything? Nurseite asked. Another bro quick carefully slid the flagstone cover over the hole just as Nursite was lighting the censer in a bee wax candle in the living room. Coming back down he whispered loudly, No! Not even the scratchy sound of slithering. I didn't expect you would since that's another insulting remark about the sore eyes. I don't think they really make any sound as they move about other than the footfalls and bells you should hear if they're out there. Another bro went back up for several long moments and then back down again. Nope, nothing. Should I look? No. They could be waiting for you to do exactly that. We'll wait to dark before we even think about leaving. It'll be too cold for them to simply wait us out without building a fire at the very least. Their scaly skin, even with fur wraps, is no match for the cold of the evening. Another bro came and inspected Don carefully. Amazing! He looks a little like the sore eyes, only smaller and not scaly. How can he be someone we're supposed to trust and rely on? What are... Because he is not a sore eye. Look at his size. He's too small. And he's from another place, according to Raquel of Peralta. Remember Teresa, the tall one from the other valley? Well, this is Don, also of the other valley. At least that's what Nightwing told Raquel. I know, I know. You think I don't listen to anything? Still, when you look at him, <laughs> well, he doesn't look too promising. Nursite looked at Don carefully again. In fact, he does kind of look like those from Peralta, but he smells like sour bread. He's tired and worn out, though I think his health is okay. Then Nursite smelled a complex of other odors. Fascinating. Smelling carefully and, and see if you can tell me every other odor. Another bro took his time, circulating around Don twice before speaking. He eats beans, rice, chili, and some kind of meat. I'd rather not think about exactly what kind of meat. Also potatoes, a bitter juice, but I can't tell what. Certainly not tea or grapes. He has been working and did clean up, but uh, not the way we do. Something very flowery, but not natural. Repulsive. <laughs> also, the dyes of the clothes he has worn don't smell like vegetable or fruit dyes. Very foul odors. Of course, the clothes he has on now are some old gnomon ones. Anything else? Hoping gnomon's another bro's nose was sharp enough to pick up one last oddity. Well, yes, but I can't put my finger on it. It's strong, kind of acrid, I think. Yes, now I remember. 
One time when Nightwing returned from a nocturnal visit to the other valley, he had an a accident. Those people had tried to kill him by burning him. They had thrown this oily stuff on him before trying to light him up. He escaped, but the oily stuff was still there. He knew we had fine cleansers and aromatic potions that could clean him and leave him with his natural sin again. It was that smell. Very good. Your nose is getting finer. No one we know of here uses or has created any kind of liquid or solid made from those oily things. According to Nightwing, many things in the other valley are made from some foul black oil they pump up out of the ground. That smell pervades Don. It'll take many soakings and sweatings to get it out of his system. At that point, Don stirred and began to wake. Ugh. Where am I? It's okay. You're safe here, Don of the Other Valley. I am Nursite, and this is my young apprentice, Netherbro. We are Nomen. Once the sore eyes are out of the area, we'll show you around. Maybe even take you out to our traditional home. No home. Uh... Yeah, I, I remember now. A couple of you knocked me down and drug me into a damned hole. What the hell is your problem? Actually, there are several problems. We had to get you out of sight before you were captured by the sore eyes, our enemies. Don looked around frantically. Oh, God, get me out of this hole. It's okay. We gave you scents to help you relax. Do you need more? Anything, damn it. I, I want out of here. Nursite placed the sensor next to him. Breathe deeply. I will tell you a story to distract your worries and give you some idea of why we need your help. He sat up abruptly. I never said anything about help. Just relax and don't worry about that. No one's keeping you prisoner. It's a matter of your safety right now. He put his head back down on the pillow and tried to breathe deeply and slowly. Okay, go ahead. Tell your story. Nursite smiled. Turning to another bro, he said, Put some mint tea on to brew. I'll need it to keep my throat moist and in tune for the story. This was a narrative he had practiced many times. Please forgive me if it's too polished and flowery, because of all the tellings it has suffered. And the next time, we're going to continue with what I call Nursite's account of recent battles with the sore eyes. Unfortunately, you're going to have to wait a while. We'll see you then. Bye.